Hello, this is Monica, your Instructional Technology Teacher on Assignment. We are going to take a look at the app Trading Cards. I already have this app downloaded onto my iPad, so to find it quickly, I will pull down gently in the middle of the screen and start typing the word Trading Cards. As you can see, I've already been into Trading Cards, so the app automatically appears there. I'm going to tap on the app to open it up. Once I get it opened up, I'm given a couple choices. If I'm brand new to this app, I would click on Create New User. If I've already used the app, as you can see I have, I would just tap on my name. Now I'm going to my screen where I have some choices here as well. First of all, if I'm brand new to the app and haven't made any cards, I'm going to click on Create New Card. Now I'm going to title the card, and the, the title of the card would be the vocabulary word or whatever the word is you need to, um, to review or study. And then after I type the title, I would then get to choose what type of information do I want on this card. Um, so I'm actually doing a vocabulary card, so it's going to be vocabulary type of information that's going to help me remember this vocabulary word. So if I've already started my card, so I'm going to click Cancel and go back to my original screen. Now I want to go into my vocabulary card that I started and I want to continue editing it. So I'm going to tap to open it and the first thing I would like to do is add a picture. So my word is ancient and if I click on the box with the little mountain I can go into my camera roll and find a picture that I've previously downloaded onto my iPad. Once the picture appears in the window, you can use your fingers to pinch and zoom and set it exactly where you would like it to be. If I would rather just take a picture of a textbook piece of paper or a picture on the wall or something live, I would click on the camera option. And if I get the picture in there and I kind of don't like it or I want to change it, I would click on the trash can. It would get rid of that picture and I could put a new one in. Now I want to fill out the information below. So I'm going to tap on the box where it says meaning and I'm going to write the meaning of the word ancient. And when you tap on these boxes, it gives you some guiding questions to kind of help you know how to fill it in. So this one says, what does ancient mean? I'm going to write very old. Then the next box is asking the part of speech. So I know that this is an adjective. And then I'm going to go to synonym. What are some words that mean the same thing as ancient? Well, how about if we use antique? And now antonym. What are some words that mean the opposite? Let's say, how about modern? And now the front of my card is complete, so I want to flip it over to the back. So down at the bottom, you can see the, the two arrows. So if I click on that, it'll flip it over. Now I've already filled out this part but I'm going to show you what the guiding questions were. So first of all, other words, it's just saying uh, what comes to mind when you hear ancient, and I said like prehistoric. The next one is um, word clue. Where does ancient originate or what helped you remember what it means? And to me, it was the past. Next is everyday use. So it's asking me where did I hear it or where am I likely to read about the, with the word ancient use. And so maybe if during my class, if I was a student, we were in social studies and we were talking about ancient ruins, you know, maybe it was in the passage that we read today. So that's why I put in our reading passage. And then it's asking what type of people would use this word. So I said that tour guides might use the word ancient or maybe archaeologists would use it. And then it also gives you a place to do a sentence. So I said we took a selfie with the ancient statue, and that would be a way of using it um, into a sentence so that I can get better acquainted with the word and remember it. And then the last is personal reaction, and it's just asking, do you have a positive or negative reaction to this word? Um, I personally do not with the word um, ancient, so I just put none. Now the other thing I can do is um, over on the right-hand side is I can change the card design. So if I slide that drawer up, I can actually change it to look like anything that I want it to look like. I kind of like that one. And so what I want to do is to make sure I've saved all my changes, I want to click the word keep the words keep it. And that's going to um, actually save everything that I've done. And it takes me back here, which is totally fine. But um, now I'm ready to share it. Like I'm finished with it and I like it and I'm ready to share it. So I'm going to click the share it button. And when I click that, 
it's going to save this I can click um, the option to save in my photos so that's probably where I would save it if I was a student and then I could export it from there to um, to my teacher or to whoever needs it if I wanted to continue working on this I would click keep working and I want you to notice that there's a little lock button that's turned on whenever you go back into after you want to share it and you go back into the card you're going to need to click that button to unlock the features so that you can go back and continue editing but don't forget to click keep it to make sure you save what you've changed so that is how you use the app trading cards and I thank you for watching.